Hey, it's Nitya with Nitya Living. I hope that you are well. <clears throat> so there was a comment on the, the <clears throat> video that I did about Kim Kardashian asking about her daughter Northwest. And I was curious myself. I know that there's been some drama about her TikTok videos. She seems to be... Um, pretty defiant, independent, strong young girl who's going to turn 10 in 2023. She's born June 15th, 2013 at 534 in the morning. So we're going to adjust back by an hour for daylight savings time. She's born in the year of a yin water snake, um, the month of yang earth horse, the day of yang earth water rat and the hour of yang water tiger. She is too yang and she is too wet. Kind of think of it like a tidal wave. Um, and when we look at mama, um, mama is a fire person. So north as a water person right there, we've got some sizzle going on. It's also interesting to note that both Kanye and Kim are really strong people. Um, so much of their energy, as I said in that Kim Kardashian video, so much of their energy is wrapped up in themselves, especially Kanye. Um, Northwest is also very dominant water, 43%. Um, it's been... It was originally 50%, but you adjust for the month that you're born, that element. So because she's born in the month of June, which is fire, she's um, she's got that controlling element. And it's interesting that that plays out directly with her mother. Now, Kanye is also a fire person. I have... I think she looks like her dad. I think she's got a lot of his sass and middle finger to the sky, like I'm gonna do life my way. I think this girl's gonna be a force when she becomes a teenager. Um, she's already got all the sass of the teenager and she's not even 10 yet. So um, kind of, here we go. Good luck, Kim, that's all I have to say. So, um, let's break down a few interesting things I saw here. First of all, remember that you will, everyone has two void animals and <clears throat> a void is in the placement of your chart is, for instance, if it shows up in your hour, it can suggest that you have a hard time holding on to jobs. It can mean also in relation to younger siblings that you have a disconnect with relating to them. It can mean um, for having children, for women especially, that there could be challenges with conceiving, challenges, um, for instance, postpartum depression or some kind of just not being able to connect with your child. Or maybe you travel for work and you don't see them very often. Or maybe when they grow up, they move away and don't really want to have a relationship with you. Things like that. If it shows up in your month, as it does for Northwest, um, it's about her parents. And for her, there's a double whammy happening here. She... Um, I keep calling her Northwest because I guess for me, it just sounds like one name, even though her name is North. I think they have a Nordy or something as her nickname. Anyway, so her month is in void. Her month is a horse. Her day animal, which represents herself, is a rat. Rats and horses despise each other. I had the great misfortune of working with a rat once. Never again, never, ever again. Um, fire and water, just not a good combination at 
all. And so what this feels like to me is she has a void in the month and she has a conflict between her rat and that, that horse. And all of that points to somebody who has very weak karma with her parents. Some beings, some souls, the way that I intuitively interpret this is my take is when there is a void, especially in the month that is about your parents, it can suggest that that soul came in without a karmic connection to the parents. She is here on her own journey, independent of them. Okay. And that being said, it also suggests separation from her parents. She doesn't live with her father anymore. I would imagine that her parents are very busy people. Um, I don't know how much attention these kids are actually getting as far as like day-to-day -day care, who knows. Um, but uh, what this feels like to me is a person who has come into this life on an independent path that is going to have great challenges with her parent parental relationships. Now, it gets interesting because when you look at her relationship with her father, it sh he shows up as Yang Earth because it's a Yang Earth horse month. That Yang Earth up against her Yang water, literally, it's like he has great dominion um over her he literally swallows her whole creepy i know um it is a very strong dominating relationship he has over her he is demanding he is critical overbearing even harmful this is not a good arrangement then the mother shows up as someone who provides resources, that's money, a home, um, travel, experiences. Also in here are responsibilities. Her mother is focused on making sure that, that North has what she needs to grow up and thrive in life. Basically, that's it. Um, this is not that nurturing quality of the mother, which for her would be metal, right? So, um, but this is fire. So fire and water, fire is what North controls. Water puts out fire. And when you look at how much fire she has, so West has about 43% of her own element, very weak in wood, just 6%. Um, Strong in fire, about, or I would say balanced, 23%. Weak in earth, 10%. And a trace amount of metal, 2%. 2%. This is where metal is the nourishing quality. This is where you get mothered, um, maternal care. Um, that is not what she is getting from her mother. Um, interesting that her brothers show up as being best friends, that she's very close to them. She's also um, with her sister. She's, um, this is like a playful relationship. This is fun. And also underneath of that, North has a relationship with her sister that can be controlling, North controlling her. And it can be where North plays kind of a patriarchal authority figure. But for the most part, they have a playful, fun relationship. So overall, I would say that North presents herself as a, as a, good, as a good sister. Um, her hour is water tiger, water and wood. For her being a watery person, these are all very compatible. Um, when you look at Kim, Kim, interestingly enough, as a Yang fire person, 
she sees herself reflected in her sons. This is like, she's more in a partnership, friendship, pal relationship with them. And with daughters, interestingly enough, Kim's relationship with her daughters, did I get that right? Nope, I didn't. Back up, back up, lift the needle and put it back, start the song over. So scratch that, I got confused. So Kim sees her sons as her teachers and her spirit guides. This is really rich. I love seeing this in a parent-child relationship and very much speaks to crossing times and lifetimes. This is very, very important relationships if she's able to go that deep with them. But either way, they will teach her something in this life for sure. When it comes to her relationship with her daughter, it is like she sees herself in her daughter. But this is a relationship that competes with the father. So there's some contention there. Um, she also picks up on some rebellion and she also picks up the quality that North also has that her mother provides for her financially and with property and resources. So it's interesting because I've mentioned this before, like when you look at me and my two brothers and our relationship with our mother, each of us has a different way of looking at that relationship. One sees my mom as a friend. One sees my mom as a mother. And I saw my mother as my challenge. And so, and then my mom is, you know, in her chart would see how she relates to her children. This is where family dynamics and astrology gets rich and can really point out, just like in a marriage, where you connect and where you disconnect. For instance, if you're looking, um, if energetically, astrologically, you have, you are looking for that bond of friendship with a child, let's say, but they see you as a critic, as demanding, as harsh, even hurtful, you're both going to have two very different relationships. And I guarantee one won't be realized, which means the mother may not ever get to that place of feeling like she's bonded and, and has that close partnership camaraderie with her child and can't understand why. It's because her child is coming at her from her perspective, their perspective, which might be radically different. Same with a marriage. I can tell you in a heartbeat what is going wrong. And there are ways to modify it. And a whole big part of that is awareness. I mean, can you imagine if you had that information and were able to sit down and dialogue about it, you might actually be able to come to a place of agreement and understanding. Um, and what a rich way to be able to analyze, reflect, mitigate, find a chord and understanding in our relationships with each other. This is where I was like, oh, wow. I looked at North's current luck cycle. It's a yin fire snake. She's born in the year of the snake. This began when she was two years old. Um, I would not be at all surprised if this is when there was a birth of another child. Often your first luck cycle shift is when you sever your, I call it, um, your energetic and umbilical cord with your mother. And... <clears throat> um, and you become more of your own independent person. At this stage in her life, at the age of two, um, 
at the age of two, and this period is going to continue until she's 12 years old. So she's well into this luck cycle that reflects the year she's born. This time is very much about herself, and it's about harm to her father. She is very aware, believe me, consciously or unconsciously, she is aware of her father's, I would imagine, if she doesn't know about his mental health, that she knows about his, um, his actions. We'll just leave it at that. I'm not here to judge people. Um, and interestingly enough, taking that piece of harm to her father, this time in her life is very much highlighting her father. And if anything, she, um, at the age of two, very much aligned with her father. And I think that we all feel that in the way that she, again, gets on the TikTok and she's pushing the envelope of what is considered acceptable for a child her age. Um, there's mention of school. Of course, she's a child. So, of course, there's mention of school. And there's also mention of contention, upset. Again, this feeling that there are people that are really demanding a lot of her, being critical of her, even harmful. Um, <clears throat> so, but I would say the overarching theme for this 10 years of her life has been her father. Also her brothers. Um, and so the last piece I wanna mention in this little video is that her life pillar, the reason she's here, this is so rich. Her journey in this life is all about her mother. Yin metal rooster. And a rooster is yin metal. So it's double yin metal. It's double influence of mother. It's all about all the people that mother her. The mother archetype is everything about why she is on this planet living this life. It is also um, within that is law. Maybe she'd become a lawyer like her mother has become. It's about justice, charity, being charitable, um, learning patience, learning compassion, learning um, to be a nurturing person to herself and to others. It's all things mother. I found that really interesting. So thank you, um, shout out to Shelly, who suggested that I look into this. And it was just as interesting as I expected it to be. So let's see how this kid plays out her life. I'm sure it will all be out there for us to see. Um, the Truman Show that is the Kardashians. Um, and all I can say is with all of that wealth, I really wish that family used their platform and their money to set an example of how to be charitable and giving in their abundance. But I have not seen that. Who knows, maybe the tide will turn. Maybe they'll, they'll uh, begin to have a show that highlights all the ways that they help people every day. Wouldn't that be something? I know if I had that much money, that's what I'd be doing. <laughs> the idea of living in that much um, excessive wealth is of no interest to me, but um, I guess everybody's got their flavor of living. So anyway, that's it for um, Northwest and her relationship to her mother. And your comments are welcome. Please keep them positive. Um, subscribe and like if you're interested in Bazi Chinese astrology. Thanks for now. Be well.